Hi there folks, welcome to Carl's Vapor Reviews once again, welcome to the video. Got a review for you today for something that came through to me at the weekend. Uh, Ash got in touch with me from my e-pack. Thanks Ash for getting in touch with me. Uh, he sent on to me the uh, Subtank Nano and also the Subtank Mini. I've already got, already purchased uh, a few weeks back the Big Brother, the 25mm version of the Subtank. And I haven't done a review on this one yet, uh, but I'm going to do, I'm going to sort of incorporate this with these, if you know what I mean. So I'm not going to show you this 25mm one, uh, because it was something I purchased myself anyway. But Ash wanted me to do a review on these two. But this is the performance I've been getting from the 25mm one. And that's with their stock 0.5 ohm coil head and that the OCC head or the organic cotton coil head uh, the single coil heads these are and that's the only thing I've been using I've got an Aspire Atlantis here as well I use that now and again but I just think because these run at lower wattage, you can run these at a lower wattage than you can the Atlantis. I've got this currently at 25 watts, uh, and it's showing 0.6 ohms on this uh, Smock X Pro BT50. But it's fantastic flavour from these. That's the 25 mil. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Obviously, I'm going to incorporate both these tanks in one video, so it will be a bit longer than usual. But uh, I've got the 22 mil, which is the sub tank mini, out of this box. I'll just put the nano to one side for a second. We'll go down for close ups and have a look at close ups. Of we'll do the mini first, and then we'll do the nano second. Uh, at the moment, I've got it on a mechanical. I haven't used a mechanical in ages. Uh, I've just love me box mods i've got an sx 300 mod i've got a bt50 uh, i've also got i sticks etc now obviously the i sticks won't fire 0.5 ohm coils uh, it'll only fire above one ohm so we you have to use the 1.2 ohm heads but i've got it on a mechanical i've got a 20 amp fest in there purple high drain battery can't stress this enough guys with these tanks because they're coming because they are called sub tanks and the sub ohming coils you need to uh, be uh, an advanced sort of vapor that knows about battery safety or go and research battery safety before using these 0.5 ohm coil heads because uh, you don't want to start to having batteries that are going to blow on you so I've got it in a stingray 18650. This is the sub tank mini. It just chucks out there in the flavor, the vapor. It just chucks out the flavor. It's fantastic. Now, I'm going to compare it to the big brother. I'm going to put, compare both of them to the big brother. Now, This is a lot warmer vape. The Subtank Mini is a lot warmer vape than it is out the 25mm, mainly because obviously it's smaller. The central shaft's smaller. That goes, uh, you know, the, where the vape has to travel up here is far less distance than in this one. And the flavour's fantastic. We'll go down for close ups. I've got the widest airflow hole open at the moment. So I'm uh, lung inhaling at the moment. Now this is a 70-30 juice, so it's 70 VG, 30 PG, and it's my uh, from my great friend from Spectrum Vaping, Sean. Uh, I use uh, Murray Mints, and I've also got blush and custard cream off him. It's fantastic juice off Spectrum Vaping. Can't stop vaping it. Now since he's since he's got sent through to me from Ash at my e pack. 
I just can't stop using them. But they, I, I love the look of them. Uh, the coils are fantastic with the organic cotton in there. Now we'll get we'll get straight into the close-ups of the mini, and uh, then we'll come back up. We'll rate it, and then we'll go back down and have a look straight at the nano. And we'll uh, come back up to the top, and then we'll I'll, I'll give comparisons, etc., etc. So what we'll do now, guys, we'll go down to the uh, close-ups and have a look at the mini, what in the package, what you get in the box. All right, guys, here we are, close up with the sub tank mini. This is how it comes packaged. I've got me a uh, little bit of kitchen roll underneath as well, and uh, it's great packaging from Kanga Tech with regards to the sub tanks really nice packaging slide open box uh, there's nothing on this box apart from its moniker and the barcode and stuff on the back now on the red box you have <coughs> a qr code and a holographic label this is all for authenticity uh, qr uh, qr labels for you can do that use that with your uh, smartphone if you've got a QR reader on there. Uh, on the back of the box, if you want to pause the video, you can read all the kit contents, etc. One sub tank mini, one OCC sub ohm 0.5 ohm head, range 15 to 30 watts, one OCC 1.2 ohm coil, range 12 to 25 watts. Two times RBA 0.5 ohm 30 watt coils. That's a coil fitted. That's the, for the RBA deck. You get two uh, pre made coils in there. One Japanese organic cotton, one mini RBA base, one Pyrex glass tube, uh, one screwdriver, two screws, two spare screws, and one manual. It says one Pyrex glass tube. That's the extra to what you've got to the tank itself. So you do get spare glass in there. And they've got a uh, sub tank. It says it's got a sub tank mini installed with organic cotton coil head, OCC head. Make use of organic cotton as wick, which is much healthier and environmental. So it's a bit of a bit chinglish there, but and then you've got cautions on the back for keeping out of reach of children, etc., etc. Still think they should have it on that caution bit there that it's a 0 0.5 of sub ohm head and uh, <clears throat> with regards to battery safety, etc. I still think they should add that to there. Well, that's the uh, back of the box. Now we slide the box open and then that's what we get inside. If yours comes with juice like mine's got, send it back because mine's got a bit of juice left in it. So we'll take this out and that's the this is the tank now we will come off autofocus and they'll go on manual for this start at the top drip tip stainless drip tip nice wide bore does uh, go in a little bit at the bottom but it's exactly the same size at the bottom as it is the, as the chimney section on the top cap so that's that uh, some nice kanga tech etching you can get my light right on the top of the tank there as you can see that's engraving not etching not engraved uh, glass tank with <coughs> which you can see the red o-rings and this is the airflow ring and that is its widest setting at the moment it's got a slight cyclops style uh, opening now that's its widest open and go to your next setting which is fully closed next setting is one so one hole and your next setting is two and then your next setting is wide open. If you wanted to use, because one hole is still quite airy, uh, so if you wanted even tighter draw, you could come off the detent indent slightly and just have it sort of half open like that, or a quarter open, 
So you can use it like that as well if, if you are that way inclined. I've been using the 0.5 ohm head, so I've and I've been lung inhaling with that, and it is airy draw. It's more an area of a draw now than the than its bigger brother, in my opinion. And uh, we've got some kneeling at the bottom here to aid you uh, unscrewing this from the tank top tank section itself. And on the bottom we have you can make it out. Uh, some writing, Kanga Mini, and we have a gold plated 510 with some white insulation around there, or the translucent insulator around there. Uh, there's the writing on the bottom CE markings, Kanga Tech Mini, etc. So that's it, that's that. We'll come back to the tank again in a second. We'll take the top of the packaging off and we have an instruction manual which is quite decent to be honest it's got some good pictures in there for filling etc the RBA base and another uh, Kanga Tech authenticity card instructions on the card on how to use that just we'll stick that back in there and then in the bottom of the box we have these accessories. Now in the bottom of the box we have the RBA base here, a spare coil head, a spare coil head, OCC head, which is the 1.2 ohm head. It, the ones fitted, you get one fitted and one in the box. The one fitted is always, well in my all three Kanga sub tanks I've had, they've always fitted the 0.5 ohm head. It comes pre-installed and that's the 1.2 ohm head there and then we get some all get kanga tech rba organic cotton this is all for use on the rba deck now and then we've got some uh, o-rings spare o-rings spare set of screws a spare coil one spare coil there one's fitted in the deck already into the rba base and we also get a spare glass tank with the with the mini, you don't get the spare glass tank with the uh, with its bigger brother because it's got other spares in there instead. So what we'll do is I'm going to take out because these are a pain to get out. I'm going to take out the OCC coil and the RBA base. Put the other bits and pieces back for a second. <clears throat> I'll just show you the OCC head up close I can focus in so stamped on the OCC head is the what ohms it is and the range which is 12 to 25 watts if you can make that out we have an organic cotton vertical coil in there uh, organic cotton as is the wiki we have a translucent o-ring just sitting inside here that is for where uh, to seal it around the chimney section inside the tank and you can see the coil straight the way through and your holes for wicking one that side one that side these they are big holes they are and what you need to do is you need to drip some drops of juice down in there and possibly on the sides here to get this cotton wet before you put it into the into your base and put it into the tank because you need to pre, you need to prime these wicks or else you're just gonna if you don't prime it it's gonna burn if you fire it without when it's not too fully juiced up so that's the OCC head now this is the RBA base now got Kanga Tech written on the side you can just make it out it's hard silver on silver uh, there it is RBA mini now this is in three parts we've got a top that screws off you see there's a little translucent o-ring in there as well that's to seal it so we screw this off and it's a little bit concave or 
got domed, should I say, in there to probably add to the flavour experience. Then we've got a chimney wall that we screw off. Now this can be a pain to screw to actually screw off if you tighten it up too tight. If you screw it on and tighten it up too tight, it gets stuck, and because there's there's not much to hold on to here once that's screwed on, you've got to hold on to it here to screw it off, and you it becomes a pain. I have to get you have to get the pliers on it now and again, but only put the pliers on this part here. Can could do with the uh, sort of making this part a bit thicker down here so we can get have something to grip on onto when unscrewing this, and then that's your. Uh, that's how it comes where they they say that that's a 0.5 ohm coil in there so I'll, I'll, I will test that out in a second now there was some uh, down here let me just get a let me just get a pointer a better pointer than that get one of my little screwdrivers now sorry if I went off camera then now on the original RBA deck underneath here there's an insulator now on this this bigger brother's RBA it had a white insulator which was silicon based and it was breaking down with the uh, juices like fluid and stuff uh, but this is a peak insulator now and they have changed it it's clear to look at so you can not just about make it out it sits underneath the underneath this here and uh, apparently this is a this won't break down with the juice cracking juices it uh, tank cracking juices so that's good to see now what you do is you will put your coil legs will get trapped down the sides of these screws here you can screw these screws all the way nearly all the way out and and uh, wrap it round slightly but it's sort of how it gets trapped now is just down these sides here and it gets trapped in there like that then you can maneuver it up or down yourself however high or low you want it above the airflow hole here there uh, there's your juice channel at the front you've got two of them one on the other side uh, you've got four big holes in the base of this 510 that's going to provide your airflow in through these holes and up through the middle and that's why it's this this rba base is more airy than its bigger brother on the 25 mil because they, i believe they've made these holes slightly bigger as well and that's the rba base so what we'll do is we'll uh, i'll just zoom out a little bit and then i'll uh, wick it with a bit of cotton the way i do it zoom back in a little bit more and just auto focus off so what we'll do is i'll take the base off because i've got the uh, 0 0.5 ohm coil head in there and then i'm just going to undo this with a bit of because i've got juice in it with a bit of kitchen roll wipe that coil down a bit because I'm going to reuse that in a bit now what happens with this base uh, every time I've taken it off is the o-ring comes off that that o-ring there is supposed to sit on the base but it comes off with it it just sits there loosely so you have to put that back on as well but well, you can put it back on after you've uh, coiled it if you like so what we're going to do now is I'm going to screw this uh, RBA base into the base of the atomizer, RBA deck into the base of the atomizer, like so. And for me, what I've got, I've got a, an ohms checker, and I'm going to screw it in there, and I use this as a stand as well. So this is showing, at the moment, it's showing 0.59, so on here. So it's roughly around about it's between 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. When you use it, the ohms will change a little bit anyway. 
So let me just uh, move my camera down a little bit. I'll show you up close anyway. Uh, what I've got here is a slither of my Japanese cotton pad. And let me just turn it auto focus off. It plays up my all of my focus does on this camera, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take it through the, there like that. I like it tight in my tightish in the in the coils, my cotton. I'm just going to do a twist and pull, tight pair. And that's all. That's all I need, like that. And then what we do then is. I take these two bits up, make sure your writing's the correct way up on your chimney section, put it on, <coughs> excuse me, try to make uh, getting over the leggy. Then we've got two, <coughs> excuse me again, rabbit ears. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to snip them off level with the base if you can see level with this base here put the bottom of your scissors on the base and just snip like that same on the other side take it over snip like that and you're left with a little bit hanging over either side like that it's probably a little bit too much on this side here so you'll get to know and gauge what's right then all you do is just push this back down inside like so same on the other side and I like to uh, so if I do this off camera, I like to spread it out a little bit across the bottom of the deck. And that's what it looks like in there. Then you would juice that up. Uh, primer, primer juice it. Uh, and then put your top cap on to the chimney section. Like so. And then unscrew it off your ohms checker or off your whatever you're screwing it to. And then that would screw straight into there as though that was your coil. But I'm not going to use this now. I'm going to put my uh, coil back in. That, that'll do for later. So unscrew that. And that's the RBA base. So that's the RBA base, guys. Uh, I put my 0.5 coil head back in. Then filling. I'm just going to fill it up with a bit of my Murray mints. You just fill it down the sides. You can see down the sides there. Uh, Takes the, this twenty-two mil. It takes about three mil of three and a half mil of juice, but that's enough for me, and that's enough in there for the time being. That'll keep me going for a bit. Screw that back on. And then that's the uh, Kanga sub tank mini guys and we'll go back up to the top and then we'll uh, have a have a vape on it and rate it and stuff and compare it to its bigger brother and uh, we'll see you back up at the top guys hi guys welcome back to the uh, top now i've been attached it to my sx350 uh, mod now and uh, <clears throat> from the mechanical ad at the beginning of the video and it's currently running at uh, 24 watts, putting our 3.94 volts, and it's showing sort of 0.6 ohms. I'll show you. Let me just turn the showing 0.6 ohms. So it, it, that's what it's showing on this SX300. 
So, the flavour and the vapour, yeah, it's like an opium den. Yeah, fucked up. It's like cleanomizers. That's what they are now. But they're sub ohm cleanomizers. So, with the 0 0.5 ohm heads, you've got to have devices that are, are going to run more than 20 watts to, to run these 0 0.5 ohm heads. And also, the device has got to run, be it. It's got to be capable of running a 0 0.5 ohm head. And also, please install batteries that are capable of running these 0 0.5 ohm heads. It does come with a 1.2 ohm head as well, but they're sold on the basis of them being a sub ohm tank, if you know what I mean. So, <clears throat> it's effectively, uh, they, want, they, want, they want to give you the... Uh, the dripping experience of a dripper in a tank in my opinion and my opinion as well is Kangaroo succeeding just as a, as a spy did with the Atlantis uh, Kangaroo succeeded uh, now in my opinion and they've succeeded uh, you know that that came out people didn't buy it because it was 25 mil I think they made that really for their own mechanical mod it did come with adapters and stuff for adapting it down, the base of it down to 22. But this is a far better experience for me than its bigger brother. Uh, the airflow is better on the on the mini than the than its bigger brother. Uh, the RBA deck, uh, when you've got the RBA deck in, the airflow is better, way better than it is on this. The uh, insulator has been improved now on this over the bigger brother. There's no changing of top caps over uh, like you have to do on this one uh, to put to fit the RBA deck in. <clears throat> so, as an all-in all-in-one package, if I was advising you to buy one over the other, I would advise to go for the mini over the normal sub tank. Uh, this normal sub tank really is for box mods, in my opinion. They sit nice on a box mod, and I still do love it. Don't get me wrong, I still do love it. I don't vape, I don't have juices that are proper tank crackers like the fluid and stuff where that silicon was breaking down. And I've been using the, the stock heads, to be honest. It just is a really nice vape with the stock heads as well. But for me, this is a, a fantastic bit of kit. And Ash at my e-pack who sent it me on. Once again, thank you very much, Ash. And uh, I've got the Nano to do in a second as well. But this is a cracking, cracking clearomizer. Because that's what they are still. They're still classed as clearomizers because of how they are and what they have marketed. They're marketed in a way that you can get sub ohm vaping out of them. But the, the kit that's going to come out this year is going to be unbelievable. Let's take another vape. I've had 50-50 juice in here as well. This is 70-30, 70-VG, like I said, 30-PG. Uh, but I've had 50-50 in here, no problems. And it's it's just a great device. I, I, I like the looks of it. Some people might not like the red O-rings, but I do. I think it looks a cracking bit of kit, you know, and that's on my box mod now. But it's, it performs exactly the same <clears throat> on a mechanical. I'm going to put it on the Stingray again. Uh, unscrew the bottom a little bit. I'm in 18650 mode on the Stingray. Looks fantastic, I think. 22 mil, like I say. You can obviously run this Stingray in hybrid if you wanted to, so you could take a bit more off it. Fantastic. It is a great tank. I'd just like to thank Ashley once again for my e-pack sending it to me on. 
I believe they are now in stock as of today and as this video has gone live they've gone into stock uh, they hadn't they weren't in stock over the weekend they've just gone into stock now and I believe the mini let me just get the internet up is 29.99 I think uh, let me just check now I need to check the pricings for you sorry no sorry my my fault 24.99 subtack mini is and it, 24.99 it's a great package for that much it's absolutely fantastic get the stick the right juice in these and you've got bags and bags of flavor bags of vapor and it's just it is a great device i can't recommend it enough it is great now we'll move on from this and it's bigger brother which i haven't done a review on to the sub tank nano both these boxes by the way come with the shrink wrap around sealed as well after obviously i've taken it off now we'll go down for close-ups on this another slide open package again so what we'll do now is excuse me we'll go down straight away for close-ups on the nano and we'll see you down at the table right guys here we are down at the table with the sub tank nano now this is a thinner packaging than the the sub tank mini or the sub tank uh, it still slides open the same way and then that's your sleeve cardboard sleeve put that to one side now you've got your authenticity uh, let me just put what focus on you've got your authenticity uh, labeling again from Kanga with the holographic label QR code etc and contents on the back of this kit are one sub tank nano one OCC sub ohm 0.5 ohm head range 15 to 30 watts one OCC 1.2 ohm coil range 12 to 25 watts one Pyrex glass tube and one manual now you don't get an RBA section in the nano this is an 18 millimeter diameter 18.5 millimeter diameter that's the package I'll show you in a second in the box it is the same as what you get with all the other with all the other sub tanks user manual another authenticity uh, card and your caution with regards to priming the wicks before use with juice so that's all in there I'll stick that to one side I mean the packaging is fantastic it's really solid packaging I can't imagine any of these coming to people with breakages with the packaging they're using now that's the package that you get from Kanga here is your tank here is a glass with spare o-rings and your 1.2 ohm spare coil the 0.5 is already fitted in there so what we'll do is we will grab this tank out of here and all the other bits there's nothing underneath the box when you get these tanks out grab them nicely there's no other there's no coils or anything like that in there because obviously it doesn't come with an RBA base so that's the glass tank nicely smoothed off thick again uh, there's your o-rings spare o-rings you've got sort of like a uh, I know these ones haven't yeah two red spare o-rings there for you as well so that's that pop that back in the coil i've already shown you on the mini is exactly the same the coils on these these occ coils fit in every sub tank across the range from the big 25 mil down to this nano they're the same coil heads so because i've already shown you the coil head i'm not going to show you that again so that's that <clears throat> and then this is the tank people let's uh do the focus there we are 
I think that's about right. Same wide bore drip tip, just a smaller diameter around here, 18 mil. So for purpose of, I've got, um, this is still for review, this is guys as well. This is a 20 watt uh, Ego style. This is called the, uh, the VRS from Vape Only. Uh, I've got to review this yet. It's got a spring loaded center pin, so I can screw this on all the way. And that's how the Nano looks on a battery of that type. There you go. But this 20 watt device won't fire this coil because this only goes down to 0 0.8 ohms. So again, you know, you've got to research on <coughs> excuse me what you're going to put this on even though it's like uh, you know same size as your aspire mini nautilus etc in diameter you've got to use these 0.5 ohm heads like i keep saying can't stress it enough that you need the device and the batteries to suffice for safety <coughs> excuse me again so what we'll do is take the drip tip off like I said, drip tip, and uh, we've got a clear translucent toe ring on this drip tip, not a red one. That's the opening. Airflow is exactly the same on this as it is on the Mini. Uh, we've got a, a big Cyclops indent there for airflow. And then we turn it round to the two holes as you can see there and we turn it again tell you what i'll turn it that way save one screw in the base right that's fully closed that deep that, that each one of these has got a clicky detent to it so uh, that's fully closed that's one hole but like i said before you can close that one hole off come off the detent slightly and just have half an all open if you if you're that way inclined uh, two holes and then fully open if i was using the 0.5 ohm head i'll always have it fully open and lung inhale it so what we've got here is we'll screw the base off so we'd hold that part from here and screw that off exactly the same size heads exactly the same head just on a smaller diameter base and that just unscrews from the base that's your 0 0.5 ohm coil there so that's that's good to see that you can use these coils across the range of sub tanks without sort of buying smaller coils for this nano etc and then what we've got is the tank section now this does split down you know you would hold be careful with with glass because you never know hold the whole thing here and just turn the top cap to unscrew it and it comes apart for cleaning purposes like so and then the glass will come off off there like that that's how it that's how it strips down so we'll put the glass back on, top cap back in. Be careful you don't cross thread these, or else it will knack your, your tank up. Make sure all your O-rings are in place correctly before screwing it down tightly. And then screw it down. I wouldn't over tighten them. That's that's enough. <clears throat> You'll feel when you get to the to the stop. And then what we do is we'll fill this up down here with some more of my Let's get me here. Money mints. And we fill it up down the side here. Just go to the top of the. Don't overfill these guys, no need to really. 
that's it that's all i've got that's what i've got in there i've just filled it to the nearly to the top you could get a bit more in there if you wanted to now just checking on the milliliters of these the mills of these so it is i think it's two point uh what is it now three mil capacity in this sorry this is three mil capacity in this uh so you can get three mils in here in this nano and then what we do is we put that on there but before we do that we've got to prime this up because this is another OCC head so we've got to get a bit of juice on from out of our bottle or in this case for me it's out of my uh, and I'm just going to drop some drips in there you've got to do this guys or else you're just going to you're going to burn because make sure it's it's all wet with juice what will happen is <clears throat> you can see it see that's white it will change color there see how the juice is getting onto the wick now it'll change color so as you know you're fully saturated once it's changed color both sides so that's not fully saturated yet so I'm going to drip a bit more in there probably on on the side of it there like that so I'll drip some on the side of it there so that's going to juice from the uh, outside in now you see it's all gone now off soaked itself up so that's uh, good to go there now and it's all <coughs> darker color now it was white that cotton in there it's now a darker color so we can put these two together now like so screw it into the tank don't over tighten things guys you don't need to and then you'll just see it bubbling there that's wicking now look there's your bubble going up so what I would do now is I would leave that to stand now for a few minutes just to make sure that cotton is really wicked up I want to you could do a few you could close this airflow off uh, to uh, that and then uh, put your drip tip on and do some uh, primer pulls on it get some force some juice through into the cotton a bit more and that's it guys that's that's the uh, that's the kang kanga sub tank nano and it it's a, another you know they all look the same but obviously the diameter is making them it's making them more so what is ringing me i don't know who that is turn that off always ring it or do something when you're on a video so that's the nano guys so we'll go back up to the top by the time we go back up the top it'll be nice to have a vape on and we'll i'll rate it and stuff and we'll see you back up the top then hi guys welcome back up to the top uh, i've got the nano on my box mod uh like i said you can use this on the uh, you know i'll show you on a high stick you can use it on an high stick as long as you put the 1.2 ohm head in uh if you're using the 0.5 ohm head, you've got to put it. You've got to use a device that's that that, that, that can run the head, if you know what I mean. So you know that's what it looks like on a nice stick. So gives you a, a gauge of you know you've got very little overhang there. And but that this eye stick won't fire that coil. It comes up with the atomizer low, like you say. If it had the 1.2 ohm head in. If they installed that, it would have it would have fired on there. So I'm going to put it on my box mod. And it should be primed up now. I'm just using I'm just primer puffing with the airflow closed. That's it. I don't know who that was outside. I've got a clue. Some idiot in a car. So there we go. And we're running it 24 watts 
uh, still showing 0 0.60 24 watts <laughs> it's just it's a joke something so small put out so much vapor uh, and three mil in it to boot as well <sighs> I'm just loving the Kanga sub tank range at the moment it's it's just so so good <clears throat> so so good so so good the taste is fantastic it, it, the taste is really, really I can't get over how good the taste is when I started, first started using the Big Brother, the 25mm one, the taste was great. And obviously, you know, it's to do with the coil and the organic cotton in there, etc. But the makeup of the coils are, are brilliant. I think uh, Aspire are going to be using the uh, organic cotton as well. They're coming away from that uh, ceramic uh, shielding uh, fibre in their uh, heads and going to something like this. So that's one to watch out for. Again, I can't recommend it enough. You know, it's great. Even on a box mod, it still looks good on on the box mod, in my opinion. You know, if you've got one of these uh, these uh, these uh, new Smock M50s with that on, or the M22, well, I don't know about the M22, no, the M50 with that on, it would be brilliant. Because it, it, it's a little bit narrower than, uh, slightly narrower than these. These are like honey, honey type here, uh, like 25 and a half mil in uh, in depth. These are, but it still looks good, and I could, you know, it's just great. They are they are great tanks, and the the packages you get, the coils are not overly expensive. I think the coils, uh, Ash does the coils. Uh, let me just check now how much the coils are for these. Uh, he does the. They, they do a pack of pre-made coils for your RBA sections and the mini and in the normal sub-tank priced at $9.99 and you get 20 in a pack uh, plus two pads of Japanese organic cotton. That's in stock at my e-pack now. Uh, and the coils are coming out at £2.20. But if you, buy, if, you put, if you buy a five pack, which is what I normally buy, a couple of five packs, they, they, it knocks them down to one ninety five each. Which, you know, it's a bargain, an absolute bargain for these coils. Uh, coils can be quite expensive at times. Uh, I've reviewed some Joytech stuff recently and uh, their coils pricing is a bit steep on the steep side. But these are massive coils. These are, and you know, they are really good value. And this tank to buy, I'm just looking on his, uh, on the site now. Is it, They're in stock now, all these tanks are. All the sub tanks and the nano is uh, I think it's 1999 it is 1999 which again it's a great buy so once again uh, thank you for watching uh, I hope it's not been too long for you I had a lot to get through with the two tanks and showing you if there's anything I've missed message me under the video uh, any comments on what I've showed you or what I've done uh, obviously message me under the video again or you can catch me on the AAEC forum Richo71 is the avatar I'll post this video onto that forum as well uh, I'd just like to thank all my subscribers who are subscribing to me lately uh, I'm not professional I don't pretend to be professional uh, I'm just one man sitting in my own home reviewing devices that either I purchase or get sent to me as in this case Thanks again, Ash, at my EPAC for sending this and get contacting me and sending this out to review. Uh, glad you had faith in me to do it, uh, give it a good review or give my take on the review, should I say. Uh, well, thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.